Hi, this is Rob with Eco Panels of Tennessee, and today I am out uh, at a customer's house, and uh, pretty excited to be able to do this. It's a little windy, so if you hear some wind noise, we apologize for that, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we can uh, you can look over that part. So today I'm here with Cody, uh, who is a a, a past customer of ours. He's been in your house about four years, and uh, he's going to tell us a little about it and and Cody I'd like you to kind of talk a little bit about one you know why you chose to use zip panels versus you know stick framing and then uh, my understanding is and I don't want to mess this part up so I'm gonna let you say it you you really went you're the kind of customer we love <laughs> you really went the extra mile to get the the ratings and the certification and with an extra emphasis on uh, sealing up the rest of the house because you know we tell our customers hey we're we're part of it but we're but there's a lot more that goes into it to really get a, a super efficient house so talk to us a little bit about that originally we were going to build a, a tiny house like we we always had this uh, desire to build something that was affordable easy to maintain um, you know and that, that was just right for what we needed and, and not a massive house that was going to take a lot of, of work to take care of. Yeah. Um, but you know, we, we, for years I had driven past honest Abe's, uh, showrooms, uh, on, on the sides of the, the interstate and really liked the comfort and, and warmth of like the log feel, mm -hmm. but didn't want anything to do with the maintenance. Yeah. So we started looking at it and the, we found that we were able with the SIP panels to give us, you know, the comfort, the energy efficiency, and still have the, that rustic uh, feel of a cabin. Kind that, of a that we combination, always wanted. a hybrid of the two. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, and being a, an engineer myself, like I, I like engineered solutions. They're a lot easier. Yeah. Uh, they're more performant than just stick building. You know how they're gonna perform over time. Um, so with the sit panels, we were able to get these, you know, bring them in, stand them up super quick. And, you know, it's really windy out here. I mean, as we can see right now, yeah, it's pretty yeah. windy and the house doesn't budge. Like it, it is super rock solid and, and like other houses around here, it feels like they're going to blow away. But this one, <laughs> it does not move. Uh, so talk to me about, I know that you had uh, a lot of uh, blower door test done you did a hers rating and and you actually were now correct me if i'm wrong you were the first in the state of tennessee to get a certain designation on energy efficiency yes the first in the state of tennessee to get the zero energy ready certification nice, yes. nice. i'm really excited we were part of that yeah we were just a little part tell me about the rest yeah so for since this was my first house i really wanted someone that was a professional looking over my shoulder, someone I could call and ask for advice. And so I, I paired with um, Revive Energy uh, mm -hmm. and they helped like, as the build was going, they would come in, look at it, give me suggestions on how to make it better. I could run ideas past them for air tightness. Mm -hmm. um, but that was my reason for doing the certifications. And then it also gave me a target to hit. Yeah. So I could focus on what is it going to take to improve the energy efficiency to get to that target. HERS rating. Tell us yeah. about what is that. So a HERS rating is the kind of, it's a comparison of your house's energy efficiency mm -hmm. to that of a typical code built house. Okay. So if you, if you build a house now and it is two code, you would have a 100 for that standard house. 100 is the number, that's the standard number. Right. Yep. So if you above build- Above that is worse, less than that is better. Right, so okay. if you go 120, you know, it might be a house that's just really leaky or missing insulation or something. Gotcha. If you go to a zero, that means your house is net zero. So there's, gotcha. uh, your house is producing enough energy to, to completely uh, supply it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But that would require like solar panels and right. things like that. Yeah. Okay. Right. So we went for a 50. So 50 is the zero energy ready uh, benchmark. Yeah. And that means we are like somewhere in between, like right in the middle in between a net zero house and a 
code house. Gotcha. But certainly much better than a code house. Yes. So you've been in your home now for four years. Tell us about like uh, energy costs. Have they have they been good? Have they been what you expected? Is yeah. Your engineer side of you. Yes. <laughs> so um, our estimate was around eighty or ninety dollars a month, according to the benchmarks. Yeah. And that's right around where we come in. Okay. So. And that's year round, summer, winter average i guess over the Ab year average yeah. Yeah. yeah sometimes it's lower sometimes it's higher like if you have a lot it's of below zero yeah yeah you're on a heat pump we're on a heat pump yes okay. yeah. uh electric hot water heater mm -hmm. and obviously lights and things like that right so lights you know nothing special just focus on leds, LEDs. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah and hard to beat those i mean that's really right. the answer for super uh energy efficient lighting right that's really come along in just the last few years um so uh been in the house a while everything's going well <laughs> the um what's well, one more thing oh energy star i wanted to ask you about that how does right. that does that is that something that the consulting people helped you 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 got that one too right right so the way it works you've got energy star and then zero energy ready mm -hmm. and then above that i believe is passive house yes um the so energy star you automatically get by being zero energy ready so okay. energy star is the first benchmark like the that first builders try to yeah. hit right okay and then zero energy ready has energy star and epa indoor air and then a few things uh to like make the house ready for solar panels if we ever wanted to install them just building details that prepare you for that prepare zero. You if you wanted to go further with it right good well, Cody, we're just excited to have been part of this, and we're, uh, you did all the work. We just made some panels, but uh, we appreciate you choosing us to be part of this, and we're, we're really excited to have been part of those benchmarks. That's like, that's our thing. You know, we're really trying to uh, educate people and let them know that there's a smarter way to build, because... I don't know the numbers, but if you, if this house was the hundred versus the fifty, you might be paying an extra sixty, seventy, eighty dollars a month in utility costs, and that's easily. money you can easily, I would think. Yeah. And that's money that you can use for other things like food. Yeah. Gas, yeah. <laughs> things like that. So. <laughs> right. Uh, I you know I always tell people it's not that I don't that I dislike the people at the power company. I just want to just send them as little as I can right you know so building smart it's been it's been great to see your home uh thank you so much for taking the time to do this a lot of our customers you know they they want to have these goals and you've just done a fantastic job with it and we're just we're just really proud of the effort that you guys made on this home awesome thank, thank you, you very much thanks uh, if you'd like to find out more about how you can make your home super energy efficient uh, Give us a call. We'd love to talk to you about it. We can help you uh, help you get to those numbers uh, if that's your goal. And, and if your number's just saving some money every month, we can help you with that too. Uh, contact us through the information on the screen, email, uh, website. You can text, smoke signals, any of those things. We'll be happy to talk to you. Thank you.